guys welcome back to my youtube channel i hope that you all are doing really really well today i actually i mean you're watching this on the sunday so saturday that means yesterday i actually had a wedding to attend and obviously i had to film whatever i was wearing and whatever my makeup was so uh, this is what i wore yesterday because this wedding affair was not in my immediate family i just wanted to be a little more chilled out when it comes to my outfit so my outfit is really really simple but i've played a lot with my makeup so i've gone for this beautiful pinky purpley eye i really like the way this look has turned out i feel the more that i'm doing makeup the more I'm getting better at it. I don't know uh, if it's just me, but I feel that I'm, I'm like growing in makeup. My entire outfit is very minimal, very simple. So I'm just wearing like a simple plazo sari with a shirt. But my earrings are just this simple gold uh, coin plate sort of a thing with a touch of purple pink in it and I think it just completes the entire outfit. My jewelry is very very minimal. I just wanted my focus to be on the eyes. As you can see I've gone for a pinky purpley eye. So if you want to know how to get this look then please keep on watching. Okay so we will start off with our base first. So for my primer, I'm going to use the Nivea Men Sensitive Aftershave Balm. This has no alcohol. This is an aftershave balm, but it works beautifully as a primer. I will apply this all over my face and my neck. Then for foundation, I will use the Pack HD Liquid Foundation. This is in the shade 2.1. So I'll take about one to one and a half pump of this foundation and I will spread it all over my face evenly and I will blend it out using a Sephora brush. This is their Pro Air Brush in the number 55. And I'm just spreading the foundation all over my face and don't forget your neck and even your ears. Then moving on to concealer, I will use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Ginger. This will work perfectly to hide my dark circles. And I will use my ring finger to pat that under my eye. The reason why you always want to use your ring finger is because your ring finger has the lightest pressure. So whenever you're working under your eyes, make sure to always use your ring finger. Next, I will highlight my face and I will use Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 10. I'm gonna apply this concealer under my eyes, on the center of my forehead, on the bridge of my nose, over my lip, on my cupid bows and on my chin and with a pack 206 brush I will just blend it all away. The reason why I like to use a smaller brush is because I just want more precision because it's like a wedding I just want like full coverage and I just want to be precise in every thing. Then I will use the Wet n Wild contouring palette. I will set the concealer under my eyes using the banana shade from this palette. Next I'm going to use Hoola by Benefit to contour my face. It looks something like this. It's brand new. I haven't used it. I'm taking this bronzer on the brush that comes with the bronzer and I'm just applying this on the hollow of my cheekbone, on my jawline, on the sides of my face, my jawline, bringing it down to my neck. Doing the same thing to the other side. Because this brush is so compact, I'm finding it really easy to contour with it or like bronze up my skin with it, especially alongside my forehead, my cheekbone and even my nose. Like you can see over here when I'm contouring my nose, it's really, really easy. This bronzer definitely gets a thumbs up for me. Let's move on to our brows next. I will use the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. What I like to do is first I just like to brush out my brows. Then I just like to fill in my brows. Wherever I see sparse gaps, I just like to fill it in and brush it through, fill it in, brush it through. Until I reach to a point where I'm satisfied with my brows. For my eyes, I will prime my eyelid with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10. And I will set it with a setting powder. The reason why you apply a concealer before your eyeshadow is basically to make your eyeshadow pop. So this is one way you can just make the color pop even more. Secondly, it makes your eyeshadow last for a little longer. 
So for this eye look, I will use the Tammy X Revolution Tropical Paradise Palette. I just got it recently and I have been loving the shade. It is so versatile and I would recommend all of you to go out and buy it. First, I will use the Isle of Spice as a transition shade. I've taken a larger fluffy blending brush and I'm just running that above my crease. Then I will take this beautiful dark pink color which is called Coraline from this palette and on the same brush I will pop that on my crease and keep building up the color until and unless I'm happy with the color. Then comes the fun part, I will take this beautiful Caribbean shade over here which is like a shimmery pinkish color and I will pop that all over my lid. I will use my finger to place the product all over my lid. Just look at the color, it's so pretty. I feel this color applies best when applied with your fingers. Next, we'll take this purpley shade over here which is called Pearly Purps. I will use this, this shade on the outer corner just to create a depth in my eye. Then I'll just take this purpley shade and I'll place that on my lower lash line. Next, I will just place more pink on my inner corner. The eyes are almost done. Next, I will just uh, curl my lashes, apply some mascara, and then I will pop on some lashes. For lashes, I will use the pack lashes. These are the pack mint lashes in the number 471. I would highly recommend these lashes. They're beautiful. Once you get the hang of it, applying lashes is really, really easy. Let me know if you want to see a video on how to apply lashes because I would love to film that. If my lashes are done, I just like to pinch my lashes. Okay, so lashes are done. Now, as you can see, uh, there is no color on my lower lash line. So I'm just gonna pop some more purple under my eyes. I will apply some mascara on my bottom lash line. Our eyes are now done. We will move on to the blush now, just to add some color to our skin. I'm using this beautiful pink blush from Sephora. It has the shimmery bit and it will just complement the eyes beautifully. Moving on to the last bit that is highlighter. I will just pop that on the high points of my cheekbone. So I'll pop that over on my cheekbone. Just look at how this highlighter builds up. It looks beautiful and I think it's going to look lovely in pictures. Then I will just pop that on my cupid bow just to make my lips stand out a little bit more. Then over my nose between my eyebrows just to highlight that part and then of course on the other side of my face. Moving on to the last part which is lips. I will use a lip liner which is by Rimmel. It is in the number 0 one eight addiction and i will line my lips with it for lips i just wanted to use something which is nude but at the same time it's more on the pinky side so i'll go in with mac cosmo this is their amplified lipstick so with that this look is done you guys now i'll just show you my makeup and my outfit in detail i really hope that you all enjoyed the video if you enjoyed then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i would love to have you back for more i make two videos a week i upload new videos every sunday and every thursday so i would just love to have you back for more videos and now you can just enjoy the makeup and the outfit in detail bye guys take care
Listen to me. 